Good evening. Happy Wednesday to everybody. How are we doing tonight? Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. I sneezed. Okay. Hi. How's everybody doing tonight? Now I got the sniffles. And I don't think I have anything for my nose. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, this, this is a live stream, isn't it? Even though it's pre recorded, and it's pre recorded because uh, my internet is stinky. So I gotta pre-record these in half-hour segments, upload them, and then they roll. But anyway, the clock is still ticking, and so let's just go with this. There are things here, right here. Yes, here, here. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Ryan. Welcome to the uh, production live stream, video editing live stream, and we're gonna be doing some video editing, some video clips tonight. And this is a production for Tales of Ahala, The Aftermath Chronicles. Tales of Ahala being a stop-motion hero escape adventure. Hero escape being a discontinued board game with a bunch of miniatures and terrains and just wonderful. Decided to make a stop-motion adventure story about it. And we currently have Season 1 and Season 2. Sorry, I hit my microphone. Season 1 and Season 2 on YouTube. Go to our YouTube search bar, hit Tales of... or type... Tales of Valhalla, and you should be able to find us there. And we got seasons one and two, and we just released the first two episodes of season three about a week ago. And yes, we are on our way to completing season three. And so we're working on episode three of season three right now. And I have already got all the audio voiceovers set here, and now just starting to layer on the video part I've also been doing like like audio rendering and, and fixing up of audios for other for future episodes as well like episode four episode five as well as I I'm doing uh, some voice acting myself recording my voice for different characters as well that I need to get recorded and so it, it's just been a busy week it, it really has since uh, releasing uh, these episodes and getting getting episode one and two of season three done and oh, one more thing, I have, we have merch, you can see there's a pillow here, there's a t-shirt here, there's other things, w, 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 three w's, dot, c, p, t, o, v, dot store, and we just have a merch store there, and go ahead and purchase something, it will help establish a future budget to help us build future seasons faster. Plus, there's some just cool merch, some nice, some nice quotes from the series and stuff. So by all means, check it out, help us out. Thank you. Anyway, all right. So let us look at this, shall we? Okay. So we got gear and light folly here, and right now we just need. Light folly to speak, so let's go back here. Let's see where he starts talking. Okay, it's gonna go like right there. Okay, can cut that off a little bit shorter. But yeah, like I said, we're just diving headfirst into this because um, that's what needs to be done. I'll probably be done with the editing of all these video portions within the week. We're not going to get it all done tonight, of course, not in a half hour. But you know, we'll, we'll work on what we can. And then next week, we'll probably there's there's a little bit of special effects to go within this episode, so we'll probably work on that next week. And that's what I'm thinking. a little bit there but then it's still so I'm gonna just chop this off here and find a place where he's moving again right there okay and so I'm gonna make this and go this Close, close, close. 
I need to do is just need to cut this a little bit and yeah, move it to where he's moving. That works. I like it. All right. So and then then we're gonna cut to another character, and this is a character we have not really seen much in the flesh. In like seasons one or season two, we just we just see this character when he's talking to the Airborne Elite over the radio. But uh, Sergeant Drake Alexander, I mean, he made it made a little bit of an appearance at the end of season two, but he's gonna make a huge personal appearance in season three for certain. So let's let's get him here. There he is. All right. I think that should be good. Let's put this down here. second. I'm sorry, I didn't have uh, the sound for <laughs> the sound for the for the voices uh, switched on. Sorry about that. I got it fixed though. I fixed it early, so that's fine. All right. So let's see here. Okay, he's right there. So we still need to cut this just a little bit more. Let's see. We are looking for a creature. Now, I know for like Sergeant Drake Alexander, I've ha I've had a person or two comment on his voice and for especially for Hero Escape aficionados that they know and I know that this isn't what the regular Drake Alexander sounds like, all macho and Arnold Schwarzenegger like the reason why I have him sounding like he sounds is because the satire, the comedy. And I wanted to give him just a different, more of a personality than what's in the actual series. Um, just because I wanted my own take on him. And, and this is, this is, this is uh, how my mind sees him. Although in season three, you're going to see this personality, but you're also going to see another side of him um, when he actually speaks normally, if I can say, and this is kind of a little bit of a spoiler, but there, there, there's a, there's going to be a part in season three where he'll speak like normal and kind of explain why he's speaking the way he does. But for those of you out there who like who listen to the Sergeant Alexander character and are turned off by the macho Arnold kind of voice. I understand, but keep in mind, it's overall it's not a huge deal. It's just how I think how I it's how I think about him, what I think about him, um, and I just think it's funny. So that's how we're gonna do it for most of the time. We might need more of let's see here. Okay, trimmer. Uh, just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull from. Actually, that should be fine. 
Now we gotta move to Raylan. There she is, and let's see here. I just want, yeah. Okay, yeah, I want him moving, so I can kind of come off of that. Let's see, let's see how that takes us, all right. Yeah, and it's just basically like all the stuff I animated, you know, in the past four years. I just gotta look at it and try to put it together as much as I possibly can, all these different shots. Have you two noticed anything out of the ordinary? Some? This is going to take an effort here, I think. And here, yeah, I want to find where Geraint's going to be interrupting light folly a little bit. Right 
there. there. So I need that sometime. anything out of the ordinary something did happen but I was asleep oh and Geert here got struck by me okay and I know these audios might sound like not very uh, refined at the moment but they're just they're just they're just edited in the spots that they need to be in kind of they will be adjusted for volume and other things after the video clips are in place. So that's just part of the process. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Something. Something did happen. Something did happen, but... So get rid of that there. All right. So let's bring the one where Geert is panicking. What's that? Okay. I don't know where this comes from. So I'm just Close-ups and then wide shot. Got struck by light. Wait, don't. Yeah, so I see something in a second. Okay. That's fine. Here, got struck by lightning.
Oh yeah, and oh my goodness, oh, we're almost out of time. Time flies when you're having fun. I know. This is this is tedious. Let me just get this in here. Don't mention that to strangers' life, Folly. Even if we had noticed anything, why would we tell you? I'm sorry, okay, I'm just, I'm really getting into this because I'm like, I see the thing like this, but we really do need to because we're almost done with the live stream, so. Like I said, it's just a lot of tedious video editing and I'll certainly get all this layered out, hemmed out, should be by next week and we'll get that done, so anyway, I guess I'll call tonight, it's been, it's been almost a half hour and I will just sign off and say what I always say when I close these things. For those of you who are watching this on our Tales of Hell YouTube page, this is about uh, almost a half hour of uh, me just um, going through uh, some of the video editing, actual video editing portion of episode three, season three of Tales of Hell: The Aftermath Chronicles. Our, like I said, our voiceovers are already matched up and done edited and now we're just matching up the video to the voiceovers and so that's what we were doing tonight if you want to see the full amount of all the video editing and everything that i've been doing muttering about um, just concentrating on uh, this past half hour you can see the full version of this live stream on our conductor productions youtube page which should be the link in the screen in front of you or a link in the description below and please uh, go watch season three episodes one and two is already up um, I'll provide um, a link for a playlist that you can watch episodes one and two, and if, if it's um, like a future date and you're watching this, um, I'll just give you the playlist anyway and watch whatever episodes are there, are there available. Ultimately, there will be ten episodes for the full season, so once there's ten episodes on the playlist, there'll be no more, but you'll, you'll have the completed season to watch. Anyway, I digress. Um, for those of you, uh, uh, well, for those of you watching this on a live stream, Thank you all for watching this, um, and like I said, uh, pre-recorded, but if you leave a comment in the comment section, say hi, I will say hi back because I monitor these things, and we'll see you guys next week when we work more on episode three of season three of Tales of Ahala. So with that, have a good night, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.